This is Twit. The review panel, the NSA review panel is releasing its findings right now. And right up front, one of the first things they I was said. just going to read that. This yep. is fascinating. This is from the report. Finally, the report says, we cannot discount the risk in light of the lessons of our own history that at some point in the future, high-level government officials will decide that this massive database of extraordinarily sensitive private information is there for the plucking. And here's the big quote. The poll quote, Americans must never make the mistake of wholly trusting our public officials. This is from the a government review panel. Yeah, this is this is from the, the rubber stamp. So it's, it's, it's so strong. Holy the next cow. Post, uh, the next post there, it says that, that metadata can reveal, quote, calls to the psychiatrist, the plastic surgeon, the abortion clinic, the AIDS treatment, and so on. Knowing that the government has ready access to one's phone call records can seriously chill associational and expressive freedoms, and knowing that the government is one flick of a switch away from such information can profoundly, quote, alter the relationship between citizen and government in a way that is inimical to society. Boom! So, so Edward Snowden should be banned from this country forever because he caused this debate. Yeah, we were, we were, he revealed that horrible yeah. secret. So, so that was, to me, the big takeaway of the 60-minute piece it, the NSA did, in fact, say, yes, we're hoovering up all call records. Yes, yeah. we are. Yes. And we're saving them for years. But it's just the metadata, folks, right. tells you two things. One, they admit it. Two, they think you're too stupid to know what the implications mm -hmm. of that well, and are. And also, also, Leo, this is, this is the problem of, 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 of regulating to technologies rather than principles. right? So, so let's yep. move this back to, to mail. Right? The first example we've used in the show many times is that your, your contents of a first-class letter or package are, 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 can be searched only with warrant, right? And we agree with that as a society. That's what should happen. Uh, and, of course, that didn't extend over to, to email itself because of all the reasons we've discussed. Now we get to the metadata side, right? The presumption about metadata is that, well, it can be seen by the postman. It can be seen by anybody, so it's okay. So to this day, the USPS now photographs the cover of every single letter that is mailed. Now, mm -hmm. the argument might still be made that, uh, well, that's just, that's just, you know, who said to whom? What's the big deal? But now what the Monday decision said about metadata is that, sorry, I'm, the MSA turned off my lights, <laughs> um, is, is that now there's, there's that much more data that lets you, you put together a very complex mm -hmm. mosaic of life around this metadata. So there's a continuum here that, that, that either says that our, our communication is sacrosanct or not, regardless of technology, and it either says that metadata is presumed to be public or not. And they got it both ways, right? They said, well, no, our communication is not protected, but metadata is always okay. And, and, and we have to regulate this to principles, which is what the technology companies at least are starting to go with the White House on. Mm -hmm. And what they're saying is the technology companies don't hoover everything, go after specific cases and specific matters. And that is what the law was until 9-11. The... Um Three major telecoms. This is fascinating. So what's happening is they released the report, which is very long and, uh, and very dense, hundreds of very dense pages. Uh, and now uh, people at The Guardian and elsewhere are, are parsing through it. And they're live blogging it as they, as they read it, which is, which is great. The Guardian. Yeah, Guardian we're watching the live, the live blog of The Guardian. Uh, Glenn Greenwald tweeting, Wouldn't it be increasingly hard to say Snowden is a felon deserving decades in prison when the courts and the White House's own panel are saying all of this, uh, Guardian business correspondent Dominic Rush, who's one of the people looking at it, uh, finds some interesting ambivalence in the telecom industry about new restrictions on NSA access to customer data. AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint declined to comment on the new proposal to have them hold customer data on NSA's behalf. But one executive warned it could create as many problems as it solved. Quote, it would be costly for us. And more than that, it would potentially open access to consumer data to other government agencies. Once we know, once they know that we are holding the information, what's to stop the IRS for asking for it? Exactly. It wouldn't just be the NSA anymore. But also, the, the telcos have a lucrative business in billing the government. They make good money on this it. Stuff. <laughs> you know, that's one of the reasons that the, the AT&T lot wouldn't sign on to the, the thing the other um, companies said was they didn't, they didn't want to talk about this. But, you know, they've already had the retroactive immunity thing written um, into the law. But also, they have this, you know, that they basically say, yeah, sure, you can have that data. That'll cost you this much. And they've, they've, they've turned it into a, a revenue stream. Right. And one question of why, why didn't Amazon sign the letter? 
Oh, you know, one one mm. speculation, it's just speculation that I hear around, is Amazon has CIA contracts. Right. I don't know. I don't mean to right. besmirch, but 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 you 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 have our you have a lot of data about us, Amazon. You are the library of today. Libraries have a uh, ethical view that they should never release the card of what you read. So, Amazon, are you a library or not? Right. Yep. Well, there'll be lots more. And the good news is, Patrick Leahy has uh, uh, asked for a January uh, testimony uh, on this report, which means it'll keep it in the news cycle. Because this is actually a great time from the NSA's nice point if, of view uh, to release this information because nobody's paying any attention. Right. They're busy yeah. shopping. It would be nice if Greenwald, yeah, that's right, before Christmas. Yeah. It would be nice if Greenwald and Snowden could testify as well. Yeah, by, via Skype. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah.